In this video, I'm going to show you a defense that you can utilize that will help you slow down wheel routes in Madden 22, specifically wheel routes from the running back, whether it be out of the bunch meta or really anything. I'm going to show you one of my favorite little tips. It's kind of a sneaky way to do it, and honestly, I think it's going to help you get some interceptions on these routes. These the wheel route is the best route in the game by far. Um, if you're if you've you know been under a rock, the wheel route in Madden 22 offense is already insanely powerful. It's hard to intercept passes. And wheel routes themselves are super glitchy this year because you can basically lead throw them against anything if you throw a, uh, the proper pass them. So what we're going to do today is teach a concept that you can utilize. Now, I like this out of match. You can do this out of anything. It doesn't have to be match coverage. Um, it's something that I'm actually really enjoying right now um, out of 335 wide. It's best out of 335 wide. Let me quickly explain why. Be because in 335, when you go from 335 normal to 335 wide, what you get, number one, we know that we can put safeties at linebacker, but most importantly, what we can do when we do that is we can cross man on those, we can cross man those linebackers uh, on anybody on the field, which is really, I think, one of the more hidden gems within that defense. So if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Secondly, if you want to get my full nickel 335 to 335 wide defensive guide, I've got it in my Patreon. And the cool part about the Patreon membership is you're going to be able to not only get access to the 335 wide defense, but you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 defenses and offenses. I've got 15 of them in there for you. So if you want to sign up for that, it's super cheap. It's only $10 a month and it gets you access to everything. And you can also cancel whenever you'd like. But while your subscription's active, you're not only gonna get all the guides I've already done, you're gonna get all the updates I've done, you're gonna get all the updates I'm gonna do in the future, and any new eBooks that I have coming out um, in, in the future as well. So if you guys wanna sign up for that, again, it's, it's a great deal, super, super cheap. It's only 10 bucks uh, a month, and you can cancel whenever you would like to. Let's take a look here at Mesh Spot. So um, wheel routes are super hard to guard. And here's how we're gonna try to combat that. So first things first, we're in 335 uh, wide. We wanna set some audibles. So the audibles I have is Tampa two, Mike Blitz zero, cover four show two, and Mike Blitz three. Those are the audibles uh, that I have. And then in 335 uh, normal, what I like to do is I'm gonna sub in like Von Miller here, Aaron Donald here, Leonard Floyd here, so I've got really good pass rushers. And then what I really like to do is put safeties here so that they're gonna play in coverage a little bit better, okay? And then we'll just come out of this, and we're gonna start off by actually utilizing um, Mike Blitz 3. I think it's easiest to start there. Um, and the reason why, a couple reasons why Mike Blitz 3 is so good. Mike Blitz 3 is really good because it is easy to make a Mabel coverage out of, which most people will anticipate that's what you're gonna do. However, it's also really good because because those linebackers are blitzing off of the edge, they don't move based on formation. I'll explain what I'm talking about. So um, if I were to go to, uh, if I can find my trips tied in here. So let's say I'm in trips. If I'm in Mike Blitz 3, I just want, I'm gonna flip the play real quick. But if I'm in Mike Blitz 3, let me show you what happens. So if I'm in Mike Blitz 3, look at what happens. You see the linebackers are down, kind of like they normally would be. However, if I audible to cover four show two, the middle linebacker moves. If I audible to Tampa two, um, this linebacker typically will actually move. Um, if, 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 for example, let's say they motion this guy, a lot of times that linebacker will move to the right a little bit, or you saw the nickel corner move a little bit, right? So the bottom line is players move more when you're not in Mike Woods three, okay? So that's kind of one little piece or nugget as to why, um, as to why Mike Blitz 3 is, is very valuable, okay? So anyways, let's just talk about Mike Blitz 3 from uh, what we can do with this. So so what we're gonna do here, um, if my guy will stop motioning stupidly, uh, let me click off of him, that's ridiculous, okay. Um, if What we're gonna do with Mike Blitz 3 here is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some cross manning. So uh, what I like to do is we're gonna cross man linebackers on the wheels so uh, for example here fuller we're gonna man him up on the tight end and then this guy we're gonna man him up on the running back and what that's gonna do if you take a look here um, it's gonna put them in cross band uh, coverage assignments 
why that is advantageous, especially in this year's game, is because they're going to have inside leverage on the wheel routes. Now, let's say, for example, you know, you could go a little bit, if you want to, you could man this guy, Ramsey, up on the slot, and now you put them in a position where they kind of, uh, you know, again, you're, you're kind of mixing and matching your coverages, but this is not a bad idea. So if you want to man him up on the slot and play cover two over here, you can do that, and that's not a bad coverage at all. It's actually a pretty decent one. And then on the back side here, I actually really do like to just play, you know, man, um, cover two. You could do it out of cover two if you want to, something like this. This is not a bad coverage. You do need to be responsible for any kind of skinny posts on the play, but this is pretty decent coverage. Um, if you want to demand this guy up, you certainly could do that and then drop a purple, or you could just go ahead and leave the third. Okay, so you can kind of manipulate the coverage however you want. The three wreck you have already built into the play. Very, very good zone. Um, I would go ahead and bluff blitz him if you can, just because it's going to help your pass rush. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the wheel. So now what you're going to notice is this wheel to the running back. If I were to drop back and try to throw this ball, um, I don't know why my guy didn't guard him. Let me show you that one more time. Um, that the guy should come over and, and, and guard him. I don't know why he didn't. I'll show it again. So we're going to man him up on the running back. And we'll just we'll just do that. We'll just show you the running back primarily first. So we'll go like this. And, oh, it's because of the three rec. That's why. It's because of the three rec. Um, so one thing I will say about three recs is three recs, for whatever reason, in this year's game, they play a little glitchy. They actually randomly will guard the running back. So in this scenario, you might not want a three rec. Um, but I just want to show you this, this cross man and what it does to the wheels. So if you take a look here on the left side, he's going to go and guard it and look at that right there. Okay. So you see how it's kind of a baity adjustment. So they're right at the time they're going to throw. Typically he's going to be right there. Okay. And that's, that's why it's so good. Now you could do this out of three, three, five normal if you want to. So like this is cover four drop out of three, three, five normal. It's literally the exact same thing. Um, it's really more of a three through five normal tip to be honest with you because three through five normal That's kind of what it does, but you see there that time it actually kind of glitched out I will say you got to be a little careful because and this is why Mike Blitz three is always kind of the go-to because it's kind of the same thing every time um, So hook curls can get glitchy you saw right there like I mean this guy up, but this guy went over there That's that's you know, that's that's why Mike Blitz three is so valuable. So um so anyway, you take this three wreck off the field, and then you can man this guy up and man this guy up, and then from there, um, you can just sit in this basic, you know, this basic coverage, and you'll be you'll be pretty decent, right? You you, you definitely want to watch out for like a corner route to the right, um, which is likely what they'll go to. But you don't really have to worry about too much to the left side here. Um, I mean, you have good coverage. If you want to man this guy up, you still have that backside guy, so you're kind of playing a. Um, you know, kind of a, a box in one zone almost on this uh, on this um, uh, slot because that's really the only route that can kill you. And so you're kind of kind of use for that. But if you take a look here on the tight end now, you'll see the cross man adjustment. He got down a little bit too far. Um, he got down a little bit too too much there. So I'll show that again. Um, you know, and again, it, it's definitely better on the running back than it is on the on the other guy. Um, but you can just do these simple cross zones. Let me try to clear some stuff out because you want them to run on like a solid path, but it's really good for the running back. It's it's okay for this. You see, it's a, it's more of a late thing. Like if they hold it and try to throw it. Now the tight end route, I will say, is nowhere near as good as the running back route. The running back route is by far the killer of these two wheels. So you know what you could also do is this, and, and this is what I like to do at a match. So if I'm in match, one of the things that I've talked about in match before is you can you have um, what I call swing defenders and match. What I mean by that is they're players that really aren't like vital and you can adjust them. So for example, what we might do out of this is we might take this defensive end on the right and put him in a vert hook if we want to. Um, and then we can also, we're going to blitz our user of course. And then what we can do is we can take this backside linebacker and man him up on the running back. And then we could take this um, quarter flat defender if we want to, and we could do a couple different things with him. Uh, we could put him in a cut. We could we could cross man him on the tight end if we wanted to. Another good adjustment though is cross man this guy onto the slot um, 
the R1 receiver, and then you have this guy in a curl flat, right? Something like that, and it's kind of the same basic coverage. Um, if you know the match rules, we talk about that in the in the uh, Patreon as well. We have a full uh, ebook on that. But now you'll see here that that wheel is by and large taken away. You're going to have good coverage on the wheel. Okay, it's it's hard um, it's hard to consistently make a living doing that, right? It really is. Now, what I would also advise you is one of the weird things about Madden, and I don't, and I've talked about this before. It's mainly bunch that has this. It's really not, or sets like bunch. So, like uh, when the running back is to the left and the tight ends to the right. So, bunch, U trips, um, Y trips, weak has some of this. But what's going to happen here is, let's say I have man coverage on this guy, and I put any one of these guys in a zone. So, if I in a in a yellow zone, watch what happens. So, like let's say for example, I put Von Miller in a vert hook. Watch how this is going to do. What you'll notice is Von Miller will now go guard the running back and man, and then you'll see the other guy will just kind of swap off and play uh, kind of a robber zone over the middle. Now, I talked about that out of cover one robber. Now, it's not the same out of bunch tight end, and I'll show you that real quick because I just want to make a, a quick side note. So let's say, for example, um, you know, let's say, for example, we put him on a streak and we do this, okay? And, and let's just... Again, just, just hypothetically so you can understand how these zones work because it is complicated this year. It's very much so different than it's ever been. But what you're going to see now is I'm going to cross man him on with R1 and then I'm going to put this guy in a vert hook. So the exact same adjustments that I just made and I want you to watch what happens. You're going to notice that they don't swap off now. And so you see here, your cross man is very effective. So the point is you don't want to be utilizing any kind of yellow zones on the underneath interior linemen against a bunch set unless you want them to guard the running back because that's what the, that's what's going to happen. So um, because the running back is so effective, we don't want to put somebody in coverage on him that can't cover. Okay, that's just a quick side note. But you want to man this guy up here, and then now what you want to be able to do here is take this guy and have some freedom with these two defenders. These two defenders right here. There needs to be some freedom with those guys. So, what for example... We could take this guy and man him up on the tight end now. And that's a pretty dang good adjustment. This is actually not a bad way to play bunch. Um, you've got the corner route because of the match coverage. It's going to play corners really, really well. Uh, and so what you'll notice here is if we do run this this concept, let me get this guy on a flat real quick. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to use anything. I just want you to watch the cross manning. You'll see you get that cross man on the backside. And then that wheel right there, that's that's a real sketchy throw, man. That's that's a potential click on interception. Um, so you could do that as well. That's another really good adjustment that I like to do. Again, I really like cross man. I think it's underrated this year. Uh, but if you go there and then you go over here with a cross man on the R1 and then you got uh, this guy cross man here, now you've got you know kind of a box. Like I said, you're kind of putting bunch. You're not going to be able to stop everything, right? You never will be, especially in this year game. But this is not bad because let's say for example they go to go to a flooding combination like this out of this what's open here i mean really what what, what truly is going to be open on this you're going to have pretty good coverage you're going to see right here we got great coverage on the r1 now the r1 was open there but you're going to have decent coverage now well you got to be a little careful with bunch and this is and i've talked about this before you got to be a little careful with bunch is some of the bomb concepts right some of the bomb concepts so they could go to something like this and match can just sometimes just completely break okay um it's just for whatever reason that's just the way the game works well you could use these man coverage adjustments to help that so again you can go i'm man in the back i'm gonna man up the the tight end with uh with that triangle guy at the top of the top of the hood safety and then i'm gonna take this back side because this guy doesn't really do anything if you think about it I can just put him in a, a deep half. Now I'm pretty decent against everything that they can do uh, as far as like a, anything that they can do over the top. I've got cross man on both wheels, and then I'm just going to take this manually. If they decide they want to run a crosser from a bunch side, I'll just take that. And, and, and you see how this is pretty good coverage uh, for this. So anyways, this is just some advanced uh, stuff I wanted to break down on bunch, uh, specifically wheel routes. The biggest thing, biggest takeaway I want you to take away from is if you're facing someone that runs a lot of wheel routes, man them up. But don't man them up on the front side. Um, you want to man them up on the back side. Let me show you what I mean. So if I man this guy up on the running back, it's not going to matter. 
I'm just going to literally throw it at your face with a low ball inside. It's got so much inside position. That's why you need the cross man adjustment to allow that to help. So, you know, truly the best, I think the best defense for Mesh Spot, honestly, is to go to cover four show two, take this guy and man him up on the running back, take this guy and man him up on the tight end, and then you're going to kind of carry this up to the deep half. Um, you know, and, and I honestly, again, you want to be careful but the deep half adjustment is good. You just need to make sure he doesn't get burned to the inside. That's just something that's super annoying that can happen. And I'll show you what I mean. So, like, if they go here, uh, what you're going to see is this, this deep streak. You see how he's got inside leverage and he can kind of – so you, you got to be a little careful with that. But if that's the only thing, like if it's just mesh spot, you can take that up the seam. You can take that up the seam. So you got to be a little careful, but by and large, this is one of the better defenses for wheel routes and mesh spot. You can take this tip and apply it pretty much almost exactly uh, to how you would want to defend comp uh, the compression tight stuff because it's the same blocking. All they're doing is moving that 18 to the left in a compression set, but it's the same, it's the same principle, right? Because the tight end is to the right, the running back is to the left, the defensive line plays differently in that situation. Okay, it, it just does. It's the way the game works. Um, so, anyways, that's all I got. Longer video today. Wanted to share this with you. I've been talking about this a little bit. Trying to shut down wheel routes. Cover four show two does a great job out of three through five wide. The reason why is because of the cross man that you can do. That's one of the things about three three five wide that most people sleep on is the fact that you can cross man. And in this year's game, with how many wheel routes and crossing routes exist, you need to be able to cross man to be effective. So this is a great little defense for you, I think. Um, if you want to learn more about this uh, 335 wide defense, the whole ebook is in my Patreon membership. Um, and the cool part about Patreon, like I said, is you're not only getting one ebook, but you get 15 right off the bat. You get any new ones that we release while your subscription is active. And it's only $10 a month. So it's a super, super cheap deal. And you're getting a ton of bang for your buck with that. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below that gets you access to everything. I mean, we've got trip side in, bunch, bunch tight in, U trip, spread, air raid. We've got uh, 335 wide, nickel triple, one of the most underrated defenses in Madden by far. Uh, we've got so much stuff in the Patreon for you. We've got 335 will, 245 odd, 335 odd. I mean, we have so many, so many schemes in there, and we're adding to it every single day. So if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. If you're still watching, there's a link in the description below where you can go check out that membership. Again, it's only 10 bucks a month and uh, gets you everything.